stuff smells absolutely delicious. Yes, it's delicious smelling. Uh, so what what exactly is this stuff? Um, well, it's called peach and chili and robin paste. Okay, all right. And it's a very essential seasoning in cooking uh, very famous Sichuan dishes like Mapo Tofu and Kung Pao, chi Kung Pao Chicken and uh, dishes like spice cooked pork. Okay, Hui Guo Rou, everybody yes, loves it that, right? Yes, it is called right? Hui Guo Everybody Rou. loves that, right? Also, it is called uh, Dou Ban Jiang in Chinese, this seasoning. Right, Dou Ban Jiang. Okay, so yes, the very famous Dou Ban Jiang. And, uh, and what are we doing here right now? What are we doing? We're mashing it. We have to mash it every day like this. Okay, so mash it and mix it yes. up. Okay, this is a good, nice, nice little workout, good little process. So, hello everybody, I'm Feng Jason, and today I'm in Sichuan, and we are filming the third episode of uh, What's Up Sichuan. And today we're at the uh, Chengdu Museum of Sichuan Cuisine. And so today we're, I'm here to not only learn about the history, we're going to learn about some culture of it. Uh, and you're also going to see me take a big challenge. And the challenge is, let's see if a foreigner like myself who can't cook can make three uh, authentic Sichuan dishes. So luckily for me today, as I go through this challenge, I have an expert here with me, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, why don't you say hi to everybody and uh, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jimmy, an expert on Sichuan cuisine, and I'm also a foodie. Today I'm gonna accompany with Jason and help him with his combo and help him accomplish his challenge uh, on cooking some famous Sichuan cuisine. So Jason, are you uh, confident with your challenge today? We'll see, I, I hope so. I'm not the greatest cook, but I think with your assistance and your help and your knowledge, I, I think we're gonna be okay, so we'll see. But uh, before we get on to that, why don't we get back to this, because I wanna talk a little, bit more, a little bit more about this uh, uh, chili bean paste that's so yes. famous everywhere around it. Uh, as you said, so we're mixing this up. Every day you need to mix this up, right? Yes, every day uh, from morning to night we have to um, mash it. Mash it, yes. okay, just like we're doing now. And you can hear the uh, the suction sound, the because there's definitely a lot of uh, a lot of weight on here, and a lot of suction when you yes, stick it to the bottom to and pull mash it up it in order to like uh, turn over the bottom part onto the surface. Okay, yeah. all right, and and as you said, uh, it sounded like there was three steps to this process, right? Yes, usually we have three uh, main processes of uh, doing this uh, pishan, chili, and robin paste, we call it dou ban jiang in Chinese. Okay, and what, uh, what are the three steps? Okay, um, namely the three main processes are uh, turnover. Which we're uh, doing right now, we're yes. turning it over, turn mixing it, over, it up, mashing it. mashing it. And the second one is Sun basking. Sun basking, okay, yeah. so sun baked, they're gonna bake it out in the sun, so that means they're gonna leave the top off it. Do they leave the top off to cook it in the sun? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, so take it make off. Which uh, a violet light to kill the uh, harmful bacteria on the surface of oh. this chili paste. Okay, so it's not only cooking it or, or, or you know, warming it, it's also uh, killing bacteria because it gets so hot, it actually gets hot here. It's, it's kind of cool today, it's kind of, uh, uh, in between rain and sun, but uh, but it can get hot here. So I would imagine nothing's going to survive out, out out of that with that with that temperature. And then the third step, the third step, start, uh, step is called a uh, dewing. Dewing here means to uh, moisturize it on the surface of the chili paste. Okay. Yes. So as they were saying too, yeah, because in the morning and evening, as they put the lid on, uh, some of the heat and the moisture uh, collect, and it actually adds moisture back into this. Yeah. And uh, and that makes it moist again, so it keeps fresh, it keeps moisturized. Uh, so and they do this every day. So maybe he can tell me a little bit about what what is the different colors. Uh, or actually, before we get into that, why don't you tell me what exactly is the ingredient for? You it? can see from from it uh, there are so many chili and some broad beans inside it. So it is uh, like naturally fermented from broad beans with chili and salt inside. Okay, yeah. so yeah, so I think if, if you saw, he was, the, the film man was, was checking it out earlier today, you can see chunks of all the pepper, you can see all the pepper seeds yeah, uh, so inside of there, all mixed apart. Beans. And I guess, it, yeah, it would be the brown beans that are kind of actually holding everything together. Yep. And then a little bit of salt, maybe for a, a disinfectant and also for a little bit of flavor in here. So you can see the good the good mixture of it. It's all the all color is in like there. very dark. You can see another uh, one is. Oh, okay, the, yeah. yeah. So we got a dark a darker one. one. So the ear is different way from into from an it. Okay, so the the color the uh, a more red color means it's going to be more new. Yes, it's newer it's than newer. this one. Okay, so this one is only for like uh, three years ferment the broad beans, and this one we ferment it for like uh, five years. 
Okay, all right. The longer yours are, the darker their color would be. Cool. So yeah, that's good for anybody who's into into this stuff. Now you can see that uh, when you go to the store, you'll know if you're getting the good stuff or the newer stuff, right? If it's more red, it's a little bit newer. Uh, darker, it's the old stuff. It's like a fine aged wine. But also, I think you were also saying uh, there's going to be a difference in taste, correct? Yes, the tastes are different uh, according to the year of fermentation. Okay, the, so the, the older it is, the darker it is. And as he said, some of you may not know this, uh, it has to be at least 360 days, correct? Yes, at least 360 days for the fermentation. At least 360. So any jar you see in the store, it's, been, it's already been made for a year. It's crazy how much effort and time is put into this. Uh, just to get that one can of fine taste in uh, Dobanjang to, to your table so, for you to enjoy. But so we've seen kind of where uh, the beginning of Sichuan cuisine starts, right? Because this is full of so many, uh, is involved in so many dishes. So what we're going to do, let's, why don't we start our journey today and Jimmy's going to show me around this museum and we're going to start our experience. So let's go okay, check let's it go. out and see what and we have. And next I'm taking to you. Uh, taking you to see our uh, gold line noodle. All right, and I'm yes. going to take our hat off real quick. Our sanitation. You know, hat. it's a kind of kitchen knife uh, skills performance. Okay. Yeah. You know that uh, we have some noodles come by our master Su. The noodles, noodles are very thin and very fine. Very thin and very yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah, I've heard about these. They they <clears throat> they seem to be pretty. Uh, yeah, like you said, super thin. Very thin, um, super thin, thin. And definitely and a chip thing. Actually, uh, it's the thinnest noodle in the world, sitting Guinness oh. World Record. Okay, the Guinness we're, World we're Record. We'll see, we'll see it. Wow. So, uh, the Guinness World Record, I think, uh, that must be super thin if we can do that. Oh, and we can actually take our hat off. I think if you want, you want to take, your, uh, we'll <laughs> okay. take that off I'll now take that we're moving on over hat. here. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if it can set a world record for being that thin, it's got to be super thin. Do you, and did you say how, how thin were they? Uh, the thinnest part on the noodle is only like 0 0.67 millimeter of the noodle. Wow, so that's... Yes, our master is that's, here. That's really super thin. So You can wow. see uh, the dough it can be rolled into a very, very thin piece like this. Very thin piece. And we even can see the words on the background from this piece of right, dough. Right, so I, I don't know if you can see this if you get a, a close-up shot. It's yes, actually so it's thin. It's almost... It's like paper, yeah, it's almost transparent. It's like paper. You can actually read through it when you put it on a piece of paper here. So that's uh, that's pretty crazy. And also, as he was saying, the, the thinness of these, thin it is. This the is thin the, of this, yeah, as you can uh, see, it's uh, about as thin as a hair, a little, a little thinner, a little thicker. It's very fine, very thin. Uh, it's the thinnest noodles I've ever seen, and to know that it wasn't made by a machine is actually pretty impressive. Uh, because it's this expert here who did this all by hand. So I think she's going to give us uh, an example, a performance. Okay. She's going to show us how to do this, and we'll all check it out. And leave a comment if you're on a platform that uh, allows comments. Leave a comment, say what you've seen, see, say maybe say if you've uh, ever eaten Our them or what you thought about them. Our blindfolded to cut them into very uh, thin pieces of noodles. Okay. Okay, let's be part. She needs to listen. As he said, the kitchen knife is uh, also very heavy, you know, uh, weighing up around 2.5 kilograms of this kitchen knife. Okay, so uh, yeah, the the, uh, the knife that she uses is very heavy, and as you saw, she can actually blindfold herself. Let's see how thin herself. these noodles are. <laughs> okay, right on. Well, yeah, they are super thin. They're, they're, they're very thin here, and she can do it all without any sight, uh, and, and just closing her eyes and doing this, she can cut them that thin. So it's actually quite amazing. As he said, she needs to listen to it, right? Because she can actually hear the, the slicing of, of, of the dough when she's doing it. So she needs it quiet when you do that. 
Uh, and for those of you who can maybe hear, we're out in the wild here, we're out in the na nature, so you can actually hear the cicadas actually, uh, the sound, the chirping, the song of the cicadas in the trees. Sometimes they're loud, sometimes they're quiet. So you'll probably hear them a little bit since we're out here in the nature, but she could, as you can see, she could do that just fine. So maybe you could tell me, what, what is she doing now? She's threading the needle, because these noodles are very thin. It is the thinnest handmade noodle in the world, so uh, we can thread a needle at the same time for how many pieces there are uh, approximately more than 30 pieces of the noodles can wow. thread a needle at the same time. Wow. Yeah, and there are only three ingredients in making this kind of noodle, uh, namely uh, egg yolk, uh, salt, and flour. Oh, and okay. it, uh, we can burn it. it. It's very easy to ignite. So it's very flammable. Uh, it's very dry. As you said, they don't add any water. The ingredients are very simple. Um, yeah, we and, don't yeah. add any uh, extra water uh, inside the fl flower. Wow. So that's that's crazy. Yeah, it actually yeah, it burns. Yeah, easy to burn. It, it burns. It burns like grass yeah. or something like that. So it's the thinnest noodles in the world, and you can actually light them on fire very easily. That's pretty unique. You don't see that too often on most noodles that you see when you're out in the, uh, at restaurants or any places. Yeah, after burning, the ashes will not fall. Okay, yeah, right. It's very, it's a very dense noodle, uh, and it's impressive. You can actually thread a needle with these noodles. So I guess if your buttons ever fall off, maybe these noodles might come in handy too if you ever need to do them. So, all right, well, well that, that's actually very impressive. How long does she need to study in order to be she able to do She needs to practice, practice to cut it. Uh, so many times and so many years, she has already practiced, uh, practiced it for at least three years. You can see there are some okay. scars on his ha on her hands. Oh, okay, yes. wow, wow, wow. So I guess yeah, she's been it's doing it for three years, and I guess yeah, I guess if you if you mess up, yeah, you're gonna cut yourself, right? With such yeah, a, a humongous knife that they have here. So wow, that's very impressive. Uh, okay, let's thank our master Stu with our applause. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank very you. impressive. And uh, so I see today. We're at this beautiful setting. It's nice. She's just cutting her noodles right here in the setting. Is there anything unique about this place? Is something special about the place? Well, uh, in front of us, we have a pool. We can uh, make wish here. Okay. So, oh, cool. It's a, a wishing pool, which I know a lot of us probably seen either, uh, you know, in Europe or the U.S. in the West. A nice uh, uh, a wishing pond or a wishing pool or a wishing well where you can come and, and make a wish. Uh, so, is, is you mind if we if we, can we do that? Actually, we can take a corn. Do you have corn? I I I, I probably have, have one or yeah. two in my pocket. And take the corn and hold it with your uh, right hand. Okay. Then turn back. Turn Throw back. Throw it over your left shoulder. Throw it over our left shoulder. But I guess maybe process, we should. In this process, and we can make a wish on uh, the process. All right. So we should okay. make uh, one, two, three. Should we maybe wait, make a wish? I think we we get to make three wishes, right? Oh yes. First wish. Okay. Make, make three wishes. All right. I'm gonna uh, make my. Hands. Three okay. wishes. Think about what do I want in life. Jason, don't tell me your wish. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll try you not will to. not come true. I'll keep it to myself. I'll keep okay. it to myself. All right. Okay, I think I got it. I, I, I think I've got my, my three wishes. And is there something about, I think I heard something about this place too, is that if one of them comes true, we got to come back here, right? You'll have to come back here. Yeah, and after, can we make after three one more? of your wishes come true. Okay, come back and make three more. Uh, if you like, you can okay. make three more. That, that's a good business deal. You get more the the more you the more you get, the more you do, right? All right, perfect. Okay, let's throw All it. Right. So on three, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. I, I think it's gonna come true. So we'll have to I see. I hope so. Yeah, only time will tell, though, right? Okay. Well. After seeing all these noodles and, and seeing the chili bean paste, yeah, I'm getting down, super, super hungry. hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm also very hungry. Me too. Yeah, so maybe we'll uh, we'll head over to the kitchen where we're going to start our challenge and you can teach me uh, how to make three traditional no uh, foods. Yes. And so while we walk over there, our viewers can check out a short video about Chengdu and Sichuan cuisine. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see you shortly where you can see if a foreigner knows how to make Sichuan food. So we'll see you over there.
we're back and we Welcome ran back. over to the kitchen and we washed our hands. We put on our cook clothes, and our hats. Hat. We're looking good, feeling professional. I think we're about ready to get into these three foods. And uh, so Jimmy, maybe you can tell our viewers what uh, what are the three dishes that we're going to do today. Okay, today we're going to make uh, three courses, namely uh, steamed panda dumpling, uh, mapo tofu, and kung pao chicken. These three dishes we will we're going to cook them respectively. Okay, and steamed panda dumplings? Yes. We can eat panda? No, we cannot <laughs> eat panda. It's a uh, yeah. national protected animal. Oh, that's yeah. true, that's true. So I'm guessing it's not actually, it's not panda. It's the shape. It's, it's like the panda. shape of a panda. Okay, okay, now we got that straightened out. So good. All right, so the first one that we're going to do today is all is we're going to make a uh, panda dumpling. Panda dumpling, yes. sweet, perfect. First, uh, please remove the uh, plastic wrap on it. So, and for those of you that are at home, if you've uh, if you've ever made these before, maybe you can leave a comment saying what you thought of them or what you thought about the taste. And if you haven't done them before, watch along here, and uh, we're going to see how to make these uh, very cute dumplings by a professional. So you're going to be able to see the authentic way of how to make this. So stay tuned. Leave a comment. Say what you think. And uh, let's enjoy Jimmy. Jimmy, take it away. Okay, let's. Uh, I will introduce these ingredients for uh, you and the audience. Firstly, uh, this is the dough made of uh, gluten free flour and glutinous rice powder. Okay. Yeah. And this is, uh, these are sweet red bean paste. This is the sweet bean paste. This is something. Okay, so yeah, yeah the red bean something. paste uh, is actually something that if, if you're in the West, you don't see too often. Uh, but in, in, in Asia, it's very, it's a bean, it has the texture of a bean, but it's very sweet, very sugary. Uh, it's unlike any other bean I think that I've ever had because it's so sweet, it's almost like a candy. So you see it in desserts, yes. ice in cream. We have some uh, sesame, uh, peanuts, walnuts. Okay, so they've added a little, a little yes. more flavoring even into it. Yes, and these are black beans. The black beans, okay. Okay, now please take the dough and knead the dough on the plate. Okay. Better use both our hands. Knead it all up. Yeah, get it all nice and together. To get it forth. So do you make these, uh, do you make these panda dumplings at home often? Uh, sometimes I make this kind of dumpling with okay. the same flour and like some peeled pandas or some other shapes of some other animals for my family members. Oh nice, I'm sure everybody mm -hmm. loves how cute they are. And what about, so is this something that if, when, when we're in Chengdu or Sichuan and we go to a, a restaurant, is this kind of a dessert that we might be able to find in some places? Is this a fairly common? Uh, in Chengdu? In Chengdu or Sichuan in general? Yes, there actually there are some uh, uh, restaurant, uh, they have some uh, dish, desert and dishes like Ding Sao in some restaurant in Chengdu. You can find also find some uh, animal shaped dumplings like this. After, okay. yes, after we knead it, we should roll it into a strip. Okay. Yeah. Roll into it into like a little, a little log here is what we're rolling it into. After rolling it into a long strip, then we should separate them into like uh, three pieces. Three pieces. Evenly. Yeah, three like even it. pieces. I've got a nice little log here. Uh, we'll try to separate it. Separate them. Approximately about like that, I think. Into three Close pieces. Yeah. Okay. And take one. Take one piece. Take one of and these pieces, one of our pieces of our log. Roll it in a palm into a round bowl. Rolling, rolling, rolling. After rolling, use your palm and press it into concave shape. Okay. Like this. Yeah. Just a one. Oh. Yeah. You can tell I'm not a cook. I gotta, I gotta move, move it around a few times. I, better, I can't do it on the one, the one type. Yes, you better press it into a larger piece of dough and okay. put the stuffing that is uh, sweet red bean into it okay. and wrap it up. One piece of red bean and we just fold it up. Yes, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Yes, like that. All right. Okay. And then keep on rolling. So keep on rolling. We got it all wrapped up. We're gonna kind of pinch it together, get it all sealed together, and roll it into a nice little ball. So what do you think? Seeing you know a lot of foreigners come through here as well. Uh, what's their success rate? How do you think I'm gonna do today? Do you think I'm gonna succeed in in making my dishes, or or do you think I'm gonna fail horribly? <laughs> yeah. It's better that we can uh, make the 
very perfect shape uh, shape of the Ooh, panda that is, that is with hood, nice. the ears, the eyes, and the panda's mouth on this doll. Okay, next we will put in a uh, uh, pig, two pieces of black beans. Okay. And insert these black beans into the dough to make the panda uh, ears first leg like this. Okay. We're making the ears first. Make sure the uh, black beans are upright. All right, I think I've got my ears so far. Uh, starting to somewhat look like a, uh, a little pen. I got the ears coming up there. There you so, so. Okay, and okay. next, take another two pieces of uh, black beans to make the panda's eyes. Make sure uh, the top ends of the black beans should be uh, should be close okay, together. Okay, so, so kind of like my fingers? Yes, yeah, like this. Slanting. This is the okay. Chinese character, Ba means eight. Ba, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So there's a little bit of uh, extra meaning in in these eyes. Let me see if I can find a proper After we uh, making the panda's eyes, next we put another thing to make the panda's mouth like this. Okay. So my panda is down. Very cute. So I think one of my beans was too much, <laughs> too bigger than the other one. He's got funny eyes. But maybe you can see uh, it kind of looks like a panda a little bit. Maybe you guys can leave a comment below and say if you think I failed or if it, uh, if you call this a success. I would think it's a, somewhat of a success. It looks uh, it looks kind of like a panda. Would you say? I mean, is this yeah, it is, is it panda. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. Cute. yeah. Would, would, so would you say is, is this a success or, or would yeah, you say uh, a fail? it's very perfect one. Oh, perfect, perfect, good. That's and what I like to do. Put it onto the plate okay. of our uh, of our bamboo steamer. All right. Oh, and so when we put these on here, we're laying them on their on the back, the eyes up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. I thought maybe we'd set it on its and neck. And put it aside. Okay. And we'll finish. Yes, we're we'll finish our uh, one panda dumpling. Okay. But, and now let's move on to our second course. All right. Yes. Maybe I'll uh, I'll throw this over. Ooh, my panda rolled. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next, we're gonna uh, cook a dish called mapo tofu. Take this plate. Oh. Yeah. Mapo tofu. And I will introduce uh, these ingredients and the seasonings to you. Firstly, uh, this is tofu, ginger, garlic, minced beef, chili powder, okay. and black uh, salt black bean. This is starch. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. And this is uh, the sprouts of garlic. Sprouts of garlic, yeah. Sprouts right. of garlic, garlic sprout. Right. This is um, soybean oil, salt, uh, white sugar. Yes, and this is vinegar. And this is uh, soybean sauce, Sichuan pepper powder. Nice. And cooking wine, sesame oil, sesame oil, and this is uh, fish and chili and rubbing paste we just saw before. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, the Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's start. Our cooking. Firstly, we should put uh, eight spoons of water into the wok. Okay. Eight spoons. Eight spoons. Yeah. One, two, three, two, three, four, and then add two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons yeah, two of teaspoons salt. Of salt. Like this volume, right. one spoon, one teaspoon like this volume. About that much. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I think that's enough. Although I'm not a professional cook, so uh, <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll see if it's approximately about correctly. I think. And turn on the fire to maximum. There we go. Yes. And take out our chopping board and kitchen knife from the drawer. Oh, did I pull the wrong one? Oh, right okay. here. Okay, yes. okay. Take our tofu and put it, put the narrowest side on the surface of the cutting board. Okay. Wow, so this has still actually got a little bit of form. I was worried it was going to be already super soft. I, <laughs> I was afraid I'm just going to break it apart before yeah, because we Because today our bowl is small, so the tofu is also like very small. 
Okay, all right, perfect. I, I like that. Work okay, and then make uh, one cut in the in the middle. Make Just one right cut. down the middle? One. Yeah. And don't separate them. After cutting, don't separate them. No? Okay. All right. All right, and put it, put it down. Uh, put it down. Uh, uh. Don't separate them. Okay. Put it down. Put it down. All right. Lay it on the side. And make another cut. Success! <laughs> <laughs> For there a guy like me who can't cook, we call this a success. <laughs> and another cut here and here. Okay, so two here. cuts this Yeah, time. two cuts. All right. And still keeping it together? Yeah, it's keeping okay. it. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. And then another uh, three or four cuts or five cuts. So how come yours, you, you seem to cut and they just stay together? Mine wants to stick. Well, now you can uh, turn, uh, you can uh, reduce your height to minimum, okay? Okay. After cutting, uh, we should, with the help of your kitchen knife, put the tofu into the wok. All right. Ooh. Nice. Careful. Nice and warm. <laughs> yeah. And mix it up. Yes, mix steel with your uh, wooden spatula. Okay. Higher heat. Right. A little bit. Okay. Right. And now we should take our uh, ginger and garlic, both of them, on the chopping board and with this, this kitchen knife, smash it hotly. Oh, smash it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Both, both so, of them. So not pressing, it's actually hitting. Yes, yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I never really used it that way. After smashing it, after heating it, we should use this kitchen knife to, to chop them into very small pieces. And you've already done the other one as well, right? Yeah. And just mixing, mixing the, mix the garlic and ginger together, both of them together. Alright. Chop them into very small pieces. Chop, chop, chopping. This is Mapo Tofu. So, Jason, do you know how does it come, Mapo Tofu? I don't. Why don't, why don't you maybe Actually, tell the Actually, Mapo Tofu, Mapo here in Chinese uh, means uh, an old woman. She uh, has some pork mass on her face. Really? Yes. Oh. At that time, the tofu she cooked is very delicious and loved by so many diners and people in her restaurant. So this dish was retold again and again by the people. Wow, so she uh, she started a very famous dish that spread all around China and the world. Yes, Mapo Tofu Ma here in Chinese means uh, means Tao Nang Bing and the Pok Ma on people's face. Oh, okay. So in the Ma you're also talking comes from the, uh, the citron flower pepper, right? Yes, citron pepper, the Ma comes from the flavor. So very, very unique to this region in much different than any uh, any pepper from exactly. around the world. Okay, after cutting them into very uh, small pieces, put them into one half of the plate, of this smaller plate. Only one half of the smaller on the plate? plate. Uh, okay, yes. there we go. And take uh, garlic sprouts. Yes. Only one half on the plate. Sorry plant. about that. Am I holding you up here? <laughs> I'm not the, uh, the master cook. I'm definitely not a chef. We're holding becoming a chef. Jimmy up. This is a, I'm, I'm, I'm a disgrace. I, I'm losing face for the foreigners, right? The, uh, can't keep up with the master here. All right. It's okay. You're, you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the <laughs> encouragement. <laughs> okay, and make a cut in the center. Take the, yeah, the garlic broth. Okay. In the center, make a cut. One cut in the center. And put them together. All right. Make another cut in the center. And put them all together. Make the third cut in the center also the same. Okay. And put this uh, garlic sprouts on the other half on the plate. Okay. Put them aside. And use this kitchen knife, uh, kitchen tissue clean both of your kitchen knife and the cutting board. Okay, perfect. Yes, clean that. Make sure, uh, and, uh, be careful. The kitchen knife is very sharp. Okay. 
Very nice. We got them nice and clean. Put them back into the dryer. Mm -hmm. All right. Put them back into the dryer. And then uh, we can turn off our fire. Turn off. Yes. Okay. And use. Use both of our hands to hold the wok and pour all of the contents, the soap and water, into this stainless bowl. Like this. Alright. And use another, after pouring, use another kitchen tissue to clean the wok. So, clean it. <coughs> you can see they do it very, keeping it very clean throughout the entire process. Very sanitary. After cleaning, then uh, we should put one spoon of soybean oil into the wok. One spoon. Yep. Then turn on the fire to maximum. Here the process will, will be very quickly, will be very uh, fast. So. Please follow me very quickly. <laughs> yes. I will try my best to keep up with you, Jimmy. We'll see. We'll see how I can do. All right. So first, first day we should uh, put two teaspoons of uh, fish and chili and robin paste. We call it doban jiang in Chinese. Okay. Yes. And big two teaspoons of it. Okay. Keeping after putting and use this wooden spatula. Stir it. Okay. Mixing it up. Sorry. Smells yeah. delicious. Smells like where we just came from. Yes, yeah, smell delicious and a little bit spicy. And then put this uh, ginger and garlic. Only ginger and garlic, okay. not the uh, not the garlic sprout. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, okay. Mmm. Smells delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then chili powder and salt black bean quickly. All right, because the fire is on the maximum. Come on, come on. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, almost. I'm and almost there. Quickly, quickly. Reduce the heat. And put three spoons of water. Three spoons of water. Yeah. Oh, careful. Stir it and mixing mixing them well. Use your wooden spatula. Then take the starch. Add one one spoon of water. Use this ceramic spoon to mix and stir it. Mixed it all up. Yeah. Then use this. This, this is called strainer to put our tofu okay. into the wok. Only tofu, only tofu, not water. Okay. So I strained it, throwing it all in. So is this a dish that you you eat often or you make often? Yes, I often eat this uh, mapo tofu in my home. Okay, and I can see I can see you clearly are. An expert on this, you can. <laughs> I also need to practice. Yeah. Take the starch, uh, mix and stir it again. Firstly, put one spoon, sprinkle it evenly on the surface of the tofu for some, for a few seconds, and then the second uh, spoon can reduce a little bit of the fire, of the heat. Okay, okay. and just two of them. Yes, only two of them. All right. Okay, and we put the minced beef into it. Minced beef, and then <coughs> garlic, uh, garlic sprouts. Garlic sprouts. Are you smelling it? I think I think everybody's smelling it smell. around here. You can hear everybody's sneezing and, and smiling. It's a strong smell. It's a very good smell, uh, but it'll, it it definitely gets up in your nose. It's like a mmm. <laughs> All right, so we're mixing this up. Yes, mixing them up. Oh wait! Oh, you threw the. Uh, yeah, don't forget the. All right. Oop, there garlic we go. sprouts. All right, the sprouts are in, and we're ready to go. Yes, and stir them for a few seconds. 
So any, for anybody who's watching, uh, again, if you're on a platform that you can make a comment, maybe leave a comment. You can say how you think I'm doing as a foreigner cooking, and also maybe say how you think Jimmy's doing. He's the master. He looks like he clearly knows, so let us know what you think. All right, so the next step. Okay, now we can turn off the fire. All right, turn it off. Oh, yes, there we take go. this ceramic bowl here. And now we can serve our tofu into the bowl. All right. Yes, and we're putting it all, all in. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm worried about is breaking the tofu uh, before it even gets in there. Uh, that was my biggest worry today when I heard I had to do this. I thought, oh no, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it go all over the place and fall apart. But luckily, it's kind of been staying together so far. So, so far, so good. And then we have another ingredient missing. You know what? It's muffin tofu. We have to uh, we we have to need put some this citron pepper Ooh. powder on it. Turn the lid and to where it has three holes. Yes. Well, and think, shake three times. I think, uh, how did you do that? I think I'm just unscrewing the lid on there. Okay. Just open it. Turn, turn the lid. Okay. It's open. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just dump, and we'll just shake dump it a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Okay. On the tofu. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then our mopo tofu is ready. Put it aside. And with the lid? Or yes, no lid? with the lid on. All right. Uh, set mine, are we, yeah, remember, I'll set mine over here. Try not to forget, maybe I'll try to switch <laughs> it later with yours okay. and say yours was mine, mine was yours. That's probably the only way I'll Also, I'll, we I'll should win. put aside this look. Okay. We don't need this. Next we are going to make our uh, last course. Take another set of wok and wooden spatula here from the bottom of the cabinet. Right. Yeah. Another set of wok and wooden spatula. Perfect. Now we're going to uh, uh, cook Kung Pao chicken. Ooh, lovely. This is something yes. I think foreigners, anybody who's abroad, everybody knows this dish. Any Sichuan restaurant that you go to is going to have this or some variety of it, whether you're in Europe or the U.S. or China. Everybody loves Kung Pao Kung chicken. Pao chicken. It's good stuff. It's the greatest stuff. And we're going to make it authentically here today with Jimmy. So, Jimmy, take hey, it away. Firstly, I would like to introduce this ingredient to you also. Okay. Yes, uh, this is... Chicken leg meat, seasoned by uh, soybean sauce, egg white, and salt. Okay, yeah, it's already it's already yes. sweet smell. It's already it's already been seasoned. These are uh, scallion white, scallion white, uh, garlic and ginger. Okay, very strong smell. These are uh, dried chili and some citron pepper in this bag. Okay. Yes, open it for uh, later use. And this is our pre-fried peanuts. Peanuts. Everybody yes, peanuts. loves peanuts. So, and maybe you can tell me, Jimmy, I think there's a little bit of history behind the pepper, the red yes, chili exactly. pepper and citron, right? Maybe you can tell our, our viewers uh, the little bit of hist historical facts about this. Actually, in Sichuan cuisine, there are mainly three, um, five uh, flavors, namely Taonang bean, spicy, uh, sour, sweet, and uh, salty. Okay. So the flavor of uh, Tang Nang Bing is from Sichuan pepper. Yes, okay. our Sichuan pepper. Actually, for Sichuan people, they, uh, they have already uh, eaten the Sichuan pepper for around uh, one to 2,000 years ago. They have wow. already started very to eat it. Very long time, already. Uh, yeah. Long history. Long very history. long history. But for the pepper, it is imported from overseas countries. Okay, so yes. it came through, and only, that was about... Only hundreds of years ago. Hundreds of years yes. ago. So the, the Sichuan food that we eat today is, uh, while it's still based on the Sichuan pepper uh, of historical times, 
This includes uh, the, what we eat today is kind of more modern Sichuan food, right? Yeah, very modern Sichuan food. Modern uh, nowadays we are cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good. So, well, okay, let's get this now let's move on our cooking. Uh, first, we should uh, we should prepare the sauce. Yeah, take this starch. Okay. Prepare the sauce. Put only one third teaspoon of salt, just a little bit, very little bit, right, like this volume. Okay. Yeah, All right. very little bit. Oh, less. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know yes. that that wasn't pr correct. And All then, right. white sugar, uh, two uh, to three teaspoons. Oh, quite, so quite a bit. Yeah. Quite a bit. And then, four teaspoons of vinegar. Four. Yeah, four right. teaspoons of vinegar. One, two, three, four. There we go. Then two teaspoons of soybean sauce. Okay. Then one teaspoon of cooking wine. One. And one spoon, uh, one teaspoon of sesame oil. Lastly, one spoon of water. Okay. Wow, so, so I, I didn't know there was so many small details that went into Kung Pao chicken for the for the Yes, space, uh, right? there is actually there is a story behind our Kung Pao chicken. First say we should uh, stir and mix them up. Okay. The story is like, um, you know, Kung Pao chicken here, the word Kung Pao in Chinese, we also call it Gong Pao. Well, yeah, right. Yes. Right. And Gong Bao is just uh, a person, uh, an official's title in our Qing Dynasty in ancient China. And he's very famous. He was very uh, in great integrity, very um, honest, and loved by the people. Right. He's very uh, eating chicken, peanuts, and citron pepper. So he invented this kind of dish. Okay. Okay, now let's uh, continue. First, uh, we should put one spoon of. So, and I think this is also what, uh, for a lot of foreigners who are abroad, we have what we call uh, General So's chicken, which I think is kind of a variety of this, and a, a kind of Western Chinese food. Uh, so if you've eaten that, you, you would definitely love this because uh, they're kind of a similar variety, although the American Chinese food is definitely not the same as the, uh, the real Chinese food. So. So actually, uh, why is it is different in China and in America is that I think it's the ingredients they are different. Right. Yes. right. And it does. It definitely has a different appearance abroad. Yes. Um, and so, so yeah, everybody is maybe some of the people who live here and have been abroad. You can uh, below leave a comment. Maybe leave a comment about the comparison. General So's versus Kung Pao chicken. What do you think? What's uh, what's better? Maybe pros and cons of each. Okay. Let's. Uh, we better continue our cooking. Uh, put, put one uh, spoon of soybean oil. Uh, just one? Yeah. And turn on the fire to maximum. For a few seconds. Okay, just for a few seconds? Yes. Max for a few seconds? For a sec then put our uh, chicken leg meat. Okay. Yes. Chicken in. And stir it with your wooden spatula. All right. So I hear mine boiling. Is yours boiling as well? Yes, it is okay. boiling. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> then we should prepare this chili and citron pepper. All right. Put them all in. All in? Yes. Nice. It will not spicy actually because we have the sauce. If the sauce is sweet and sour, and mix it in. Mix it in. Okay. So right, without that sauce, I guess this would be super spicy. But with something to it will not calm it down. Spicy. And then this uh, uh, scaling white, ginger and garlic, all of them, all of them. Everything? Yeah. Wow, this has so much, so much flavor and so many ingredients. 
And I think you had said before when we were talking before, you had said something about five flavors versus a hundred flavors. Is it there some? Yeah, there is. A, like an uh, old, old saying goes like, uh, chicken flavor as the sole of chicken ingredient, five flavors make harmony, while hundred of flavors produce fragrance. Wow, wow, and five. Yeah, yeah. And I, I would say this truly speaks to that. It's a testament to how true that yeah, statement now is. We should turn. You should turn uh, turn your uh, fire to the minimum. Yeah. To medium. Minimum, minimum. Oh, minimum, minimum. Yeah. Okay, all right, we've done that. Yes, and take this wine. This is Shaoxing rice wine. Just mm. look at my demonstration. Okay. Turn on the fire. Put this wine. Ooh. And then keep on stirring. Oh, that was a yes. that was definitely a artistic move right there. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess no it's fire. Fine, for me. Oh, fine. and I dropped an onion. In. <laughs> you missed the fire. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and then pour our sauce. All right. Yeah. Get our sauce here. Mix it up. Yeah, mix, mix it them up before pouring in for the okay. oil. Pour it on the side. Yes. Keep it for a few seconds. It will be your higher temperature. You need. Okay. Yes. We need our max again. Max yes. flame again. And then stir them. Mm, it's starting to smell delicious. That is it for sure. Good. This is absolutely smells good. You guys hungry yet? <laughs> Think everybody's gonna be getting uh, hungry standing here. Smell keep it. on, keep on mixing and stirring them till it become it become a little bit sticky. Okay, yeah, I can see it's starting to kind of condense and yeah, kind of get a little and bit sticky on here. Oh, well, peanut time! No, just, just wait a minute and turn off the fire. Turn off the After fire. After turning off the fire, put the peanuts. Okay. Fire off, peanuts in. Now it's starting to look like and some them. chicken. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Smells de delicious. Mmm. <laughs> good. This this is good. This is yummy. Yeah. This smells absolutely good. Okay. Now take. Uh, this set of plate over here. Ooh. We're going to serve our compound chicken into the bowl. Ooh, Remove the plastic wrap. All right. On all of them. On all of them. And we can see here is a dough. Yeah, take this dough, put it anywhere on the plate because this dough is used for stabilize this bowl later on like this. Okay, yeah. all right. And take this bowl. Firstly, we should serve our chicken into the bowl. Chicken into the bowl? Yep. All right. Fit all of it into here? Yes, you can try to fill all of the chicken into the bowl. If you, if the, if, if there are too much chicken, it's okay. Just left it in the wok. Uh, a little bit's fallen out, but I think we should be able to get most of it. Whoops! Oh no no no! <laughs> okay. All right, close enough. Close enough. And put the bowl on the dough. Yeah. All right. In this ceramic bowl, we have the Sichuan uh, pickles and pour them into this gobble. Yeah, we have uh, radish, cucumber, and chili. They are pickles. Oh no! 
the we didn't see that. <laughs> and these are decorations. We can decorate our dish as you like. Okay. Wow. So this is a very uh, a very fancy way of doing it. Here we have uh, yeah, flower and leaves. We have more of them. You can decorate them as you like. Okay. Well, I think I'm probably just going to copy you. I, I'm not the greatest cook or or the creative guy, so I'll follow your lead on this. Jimmy. It's time to show your creation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, our compound chicken is ready. So, uh, yeah, we just finished this meal here. Maybe you can see. Maybe it's. Uh, it's pretty beautiful. It looks like Kung Pao chicken. Uh, we'll see. We'll have to see what the exact taste of it is, or, or the the uh, the results of of my work, and see uh, what the the result is here. But so it looks it looks beautiful. It looks nice. Yes, it smells looks good. nice and smells good. Yeah. So well, so since we've done it, it, it looks decent, and I think it's time to go see uh, if the uh, the real master, the master of you, this master. Yes, our general chef will come here and give some comments yeah. and praise, or maybe praise our master work. Or tell me I failed. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's hold our uh, compote chicken, mapo tofu here. All right. We'll bring it over here. Get it ready for the master chef to get his his view on it. Yes. See if we succeeded. Okay, remember this is mine. Okay, <laughs> I think that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't forget our panda dumplings. All right, panda dumplings. Okay. Are they all steamed and ready to go? Yes, they are ready. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Very perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's invite our general chef come here and make some comments on our dish. All right, perfect. Yes, perfect. Master Hu. Uh, welcome, welcome. Glad to see uh, you. Thank you for coming to the Chinese Museum. Thank you, thank you. Today, you have done three dishes. One is Xiong Mo Zhen Jiao, and the other is Ma Pao Tofu Gong Mo Ji Din. First, I will tell you about the Xiong Mo Zhen Jiao. The Xiong Mo Zhen Jiao is mainly about the meat. If the meat is well cooked, the meat will be soft and the meat will be soft. This is how it is made. This is mine. 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 看得见，这样子他就看得就眼睛和这个、oh, 呃、耳朵了。Okay, right. So he's saying, yeah, I think I, I thought I had laid mine on my back, on the back,、嗯、but I think he rolled it forward because he said once it's cooked, yeah, you should be able, it should be a face looking up,、嗯、and if you do it with this way, where once it swells, you can't really see the mouth. So, uh, a big mistake, big rookie mistake on the first okay, try. Okay, let's ask our master who. So do you think which one is better? You, you 觉得呃哪个我们熊猫真脚更好呢？它这个也也好，也好也好看一点。Uh, mine is better. <laughs> 你看它这样，这个就一个对比了。<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So as you can see, yeah, my my、uh, my mouth is not showing on here、uh, because we didn't do that. Maybe if I turned it a little hey, bit more, yeah, that's better. Now we push it there. Now it's a little bit prettier, but it doesn't want to stick.、So. Okay, let's move on to our、uh, next dish. 它叫麻婆豆腐哈。麻婆豆腐。麻婆豆腐它是四川的一个特色菜哈，就是麻辣味的。它这个菜哈、啊，主要有两个方面哈、啊，就是说做出它的麻辣味来。它麻辣味有哪些？有麻辣、鲜、香、酥、嫩、整、烫这八大特点。哇哇哇！然后这个麻婆豆腐哈、啊，就是说在做的时候一定要勾三道芡。为什么我们要勾三道芡呢？因为这个豆腐的水分特别的重，所以说我们要用三次芡把豆腐的水分锁住。它这样哈、啊、吃哈、啊、更嫩更滑，而且更好吃。OK。呃，今天这个麻婆豆腐、啊、就是说这个水分哈、啊、还没有收干啊，还有就是。你这个就是豆瓣酱，哎，加少了一点点，是吗？ Oh, 哎， okay. 就是麻辣味它肯定出来。Okay, so so the bean paste I should have added a little, little bit more. There's not enough in there,、uh, and and it does yeah, it just doesn't look as properly as it as it should have. But as he said,、uh, you know, one thing that's great about this dish, and everybody should go and try it because it includes the, all the eight flavors of citron, right? Yeah, as he just said, all、so、all the five flavors. Five flavors.、Yes. Okay, so this includes everything all in one dish. Uh, it looks delicious. 
but I, I was a little bit lacking on it. So what, what do we say? Josephine Ma is Basifan. Hey, Basifan is Yoyo. Basifan, oh, shit. It's just Basifan. Basifan, okay. 主要就是两个方面了。第一个就是火候的掌握，第二个就是调质的掌握。就这个菜哈，就是说在炒的时候一定要把这个胡辣味炒出来，这是第一步。第二步就是调这个汁儿了。如果说这个汁儿没有调好的话，呃，做出来的话，它这个荔枝味是不不会出来的，就体现不出来。嗯。所以说在做的时候一定要注意哈，这两个方面。呃，这个哈就是说，还是一样的，就是汁水收的时候，就是说这个菜哈做出来它是收汁酿油，而且是非常好看的。嗯，这个就是汁水哈，还有一点点重。如果说再收一下的话，效果更好。还有就是辣椒哈，这个胡辣味还没有怎么出来哈，这个、胡辣味。就是这个辣椒一定要炒的，呃，就跟这个，呃，棕红色。All right, so yeah, my pepper should have been fried a little bit longer, a little bit darker to really bring out the flavor into the dish. So, so now, is it? You, you should say that. This, you, you give me. This is eighty-five. Eighty-five. Oh, we're we're getting higher. We're getting higher. We're slowly moving up. Slowly moving up. Today, we, Jason, is here to challenge you to make some Chinese food. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, make some challenge on cooking this. So. Uh, can you uh, can you say if our Jason is success or not? 就是说他是不是挑战成功了做这些这三道菜？哎，所以还是比较成功的哈。成功了吗？哦、oh, hey, ，Thank you, Thank you. Congratulations. 宫保鸡丁哈，就是说，嗯，在外面吃可能只是吃鸡丁、吃花生米，但是还有个最好吃的方法哈，就是说，呃，用个勺子加个鸡丁、一个花生米、一个干辣椒、干花椒、姜、葱、蒜，它一起吃，它这样吃的话，它更好吃。为什么呢？因为鸡肉哈，它一个腥味特别的重，所以说我们要用这些呃煮虎料去，这个虎料去柔柔软它的这个口味，哈、啊，它就非常好吃了。Okay, so yeah, see, so he's saying when you eat it, maybe not just eat one piece at a time. You can take a scoop of、uh, all the pieces together of all the different seasons, put them all into your mouth, and that way everything just blends together and just tastes spectacular. And everybody knows. So maybe you can all leave your comment and let us know when's the next time you're going to go eat some Sichuan food. Because I think now that you've seen these, you're probably going to be eating Sichuan food for lunch or dinner because everybody loves it and everybody's hungry. So、uh, we thank you. We think now we should、uh, we better have taste our masu. Yeah, try it out. Okay. Yes, yeah, let's try. Let's definitely. I, I, 可以用勺子试一下，就加一个，来吧。勺子和筷子一起。Use the chopsticks and the spoon together. 加一个鸡丁。Put one chicken, yeah, one chicken, one one peanut, one peanut, one dry chili, 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 one dry Uh, yes, all of the jang. Jang is、uh, ginger.、This? Yes, oh, ginger. Right here. Okay. Then one is tung, tung, and、uh, scallion white. Okay. Then one is ginger. Ginger. Yes. Put、all、them all, right, all into your mouth. All into your mouth. So we've got it all mixed up here.、Uh, of one piece of everything, mixed together, and shall we try it? Okay, let's go. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm.、Mm. Sweet, sour. Spicy, and the chicken is like very tender and delicate, right? Yeah, yeah,、mm. yeah. All together, blended so perfectly. This tastes good. Yeah. And. 是不是非常好吃？嗯，非常。它是不一样的。如果说你只是吃鸡丁，它就不好吃了。对对对，它就缺少那个所有的那个味儿。对对。Next, let's try our mapo tofu. All right. Try some of this tofu, and is there any certain way? This tofu, ah, is still the same. It has water, ah, together. It's better. Okay. All right. So, so we want the the, the tofu. Yeah. 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 Ye
Right, right, right. A little bit, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A mm. little bit in there, so there's definitely some spice in there, but still very kunxiang. Uh, yes, fragrant. Very, yes, very fragrant. Oh, good. Uh, oh, I graduated. I graduated. I passed. I did not fail. Our master who will write yes. Jason's name on our certificate and give this certificate to you. Thank you very for much. For your successful Chinese studies. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank you very much. 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 Thank you Thank you very much. Thank you Thank you very much. Thank you Thank you uh, a Sichuan restaurant? Sichuan restaurant? <laughs> am I, yes, am I ready try. for the next time? I can try in America. <laughs> I can try in America, right. Because people in China probably wouldn't like my cookies. So, but maybe, yeah, maybe one day we'll try it there. Maybe not. So, oh, great. Okay. So I'm getting an, an award for this. I passed today. Super excited. It's an honor to be here. Congratulations, Jason. Hi. Thank you. Thank you to the masters today. Uh, they, they've taught me well. You had great, two great masters today to, uh, to teach us properly. We hope everybody's enjoyed today. We hope everybody's learned. Uh, if you don't know how to cook, you now know how to cook properly. So, uh, three dishes of Sichuan food. We thank you again for joining us. We hope to see you on our next episode. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Master. No and uh, we will see you guys next time. So thank you both, or thank you all, and we'll see you again soon. Great job, Jimmy. This is the... Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being such a great teacher. Ah, you're welcome. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.